Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, what is happening? Now, yesterday we've got the official reveal trailer for the Xbox Series S. And today we've got inside the Xbox Series S. And it is eight minutes, nearly nine minutes long. Let's waste no time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check this bad boy out. I'm, I actually really want to know. I've heard rumours like this is a lot less powerful than the X, which I understand, but it's a little bit of a wind up if I'm being honest surely like for next gen you'd want the top specs but I'm sure it's still powerful than current gen but we shall see also I want to quickly say 299 that is a really good price man so your boy maybe might get himself an Xbox the first one since the 360 so yeah ladies and gentlemen are you excited for the series s please let me know in that comment section below go cool. When we started this journey in 2016, we set the goal of bringing transformative gaming experiences to nice all one, gamers Jason. across the globe. Gamers have different priorities and play styles, but we all want to have the same great gaming experience with the same catalog of next generation games that we can play with our friends regardless of which device we choose to play on. To deliver on our ambitions, we knew we needed to build two consoles with similar next-gen capabilities at a differentiated price point. By designing two consoles in parallel from the very beginning, we can deliver the same core gaming experience while also making it as easy as possible for developers to scale their games across both consoles with minimal effort. This means that Xbox Series S delivers the same incredible next generation experience all right, and all features right. as Series X, That's just good. at a reduced that rendering is, That resolution. is good, maybe it's just rumors I heard. With that in mind, I'd like to highlight some of the features and performance benefits you can expect from Xbox Series S, our smallest, most affordable, all digital, next generation Xbox console. Xbox Series S leverages the same eight core Zen 2 CPU architecture as the Xbox Series X, running at 3.6 gigahertz and 3.4 gigahertz with simultaneous multi-threading enabled. So it's the same The primary power, yeah. difference between Xbox Series X and S is the GPU. Okay. Xbox Series X is Fair designed enough. to deliver a next generation gaming experience in native 4K at 60 frames per second with support for up to 120 frames per second. Series S is designed to deliver the same great next gen experience but at 1440p also okay, with support right, for up to enough. 120 frames a second. It also includes an advanced hardware no, scaler it. to upscale your games when you're connected to a 4K TV. Xbox Series S also has full hardware support for AMD's latest RDNA 2 feature set, including hardware accelerated DirectX ray tracing, mesh shaders, and variable rate shading, the exact same as Xbox Series X. Xbox Series S contains 10 gigs of GDDR6 memory running at 224 gigabytes per second, scaled in line with the target resolution. Both consoles are powered by the Xbox Velocity architecture, which means you can expect the same next generation benefits from Xbox Series S, including faster load times, That's consistent good, and higher frame good. rates, and new features yes. like quick resume. Xbox Series S advances the state of the art even further by adding new innovations such as sampler feedback streaming, only possible on our next generation consoles. With sampler feedback streaming, Xbox Series S is able to load only the portions of textures required to render the scene, just when they are needed. Wow, it allows games sweet. to load texture data with a much finer granularity than ever before, resulting in a massive leap in I.O. and memory efficiency. The Xbox Velocity architecture works in perfect harmony with speed, our custom man. SoC to make this possible, including our custom NVMe SSD, dedicated hardware decompression blocks, our new direct storage API, and sampler feedback streaming. This enables, on average, approximately two and a half times improvement on IO bandwidth performance and memory utilization beyond the raw hardware specifications. Developers can use this improved efficiency to increase the amount of detail moment. and texture variety or provide additional resources to other systems such as AI. This means that next generation games will load much faster, texture quality can be significantly this is what increased, I want to see. I want and to quick see cuts the between scenes are now achievable, keeping the player immersed in the game world. 
Here, you can see how much more quickly games can load on Xbox Series S. Oh, that was, that was decent. The player on Xbox fair. Series S is that already enjoying good. the Outer Worlds, He's while the player on Xbox <laughs> One is still waiting for the game to load. That Xbox this One is important S not just when players pissed. launch a game for the first <laughs> time, but every time. Whether it's time to load in a That's new a level or restart mate. from a previous checkpoint after a momentary going, setback, Xbox Series S gets you back in the game faster than ever. Big difference. Very big difference. With quick ah, resume, so this, this is how easy it is to move from one pause game to another and pick up right where you left off. All right, that's pretty sick. Suspend and resume <laughs> made it simple for nah, Xbox One players game, to put their consoles to sleep and get back into the game later. Okay, that is that is cool, man. God, man, that's really quick. With quick resume, Xbox Series S owners can have multiple games in rotation and easily move among them in a snap. Wait, I haven't played Black in so long. As we so said previously, long. we designed Man. Xbox Series S to target 1440p at 60 frames per second with support for up to 120 frames per second. For a closer look at what 120 frames per second means for games, let's go over to our friends at The Coalition. When Gears of War made the move to 60 frames per second on Xbox One, players benefited from higher frame rate fluid motion and increased gameplay responsiveness, which is so essential for a precision multiplayer game like Gears. Yeah. We're excited to announce that with next-gen gaming on Xbox, Gears is taking a huge leap forward beyond 60 frames per second. With Show our us. update to Gears 5, we're bringing 120 frames per second multiplayer to Sick. Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. At 120 frames per second, every reaction and input is translated to on-screen action even faster without compromising visual quality. The Xbox Series S is more than four times as powerful as the Xbox One S. That's it's certainly crazy, capable man. of 120 frames per second, and we've enabled that with Gears 5 without compromising visual quality. You really need to play it to feel how smooth and responsive the game is as your controls translate into gameplay with less than half the latency. This is so important for Gears, a game that requires precision aiming and shooting, high speed cover movement, and uh, Twitch-based player versus Gears player battles. Three, we cannot wait for you to experience the performance of 120 frames per second on both Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. With Xbox Series X and S, your favorite games seamlessly scale across devices while maintaining what's new and innovative about our next generation consoles. We wanted to make the development process as easy as I've possible never for developers dirt. around oh, the world give me to build their games screen, for man. both consoles. All the games you see here are running <laughs> on Xbox Series S. Developers today already really use a number man. of techniques such as dynamic resolution scaling to scale their games across multiple performance profiles. And the design of Xbox Series X and S empowers them to continue to do so without requiring fundamental changes. Developers will typically optimize their games first for 4K on Series X and then scale down the rendering resolution to 1440p for Xbox Series Call S while still what supporting all of the other great next-gen features. With support for all of the same next-generation features and capabilities in both Xbox Series X and S, developers can focus on delivering the same great gaming experience on both consoles and their power, speed, and performance will enable the future of games. This is a really good video, mate. Let's go, man. I hope we get a big, big in-depth video for the X. Is that it? Yeah, that, that eight minutes went well quick, man. Jason, my man. I need that beard, mate. <laughs> that is looking pretty good. I'm, I'm still like... Me personally, I know I always want like the best thing. I know, I know that's such a bad thing to say, but it is the truth. I know if I ever do buy an Xbox, I will go straight to the X just because it's powerful. But that is still looking really good, man. Especially Watch Dogs, mate. 
That environment of Watch Dogs looked really, really good. But if you're on like a budget, you can't complain with that, mate. Two nine nine, that is a bargain. You you can't moan at that price. This I think Microsoft has smashed that price really good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. That was a really good video, and I don't really cover any Xbox stuff, so i have started to cover more Xbox stuff because I get nagged a lot. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Hey!